Donald Trump is going one step further. He's going one step further um, with this lie about voter fraud. So let's say this at the beginning. You have a, a more, you're more likely to get struck by lightning than to find voter fraud. You can find voter suppression and you can find election fraud. What Donald Trump is going after is neither voter suppression nor election fraud. He's going after the fictitious uh, man bear pig of voter fraud. This idea that people are registering in multiple places, going around to multiple uh, voting precincts to vote. That's what he's targeting. Um, and according to, of course, uh, to his tweets, he's saying, I will, uh, Donald Trump said that I will be asking for a major investigation into voter fraud, all caps, including those registered to vote in two states, uh, those who are illegal, and even those registered to vote who are dead. Any, many, uh, and many for a long time. Depending on the results, we will strengthen up voting procedures. So Trump is setting the stage. Now, before I even finish that thought, here's the freaking irony. Steve Bannon, his special assistant, right? The former uh, editor of Breitbart. Uh, Steve Bannon himself is registered to vote in two different states. So if he's going to clean house, clean house, starting with your special assistant to the president, Steve Bannon, arrest him. That's what you want, right? That's the kind of draconian measures, measures you're taking. But that's not what he wants, right? Um, he's going after something that he'll never find, but that gives him room to continue to go after it because people believe. Like when I was at the Tea Party debate, the, the, the strangest thing was – I was able to get all of these middle aged and retiree um, white Americans to actually admit that racism was real in America. But you know what I could not get them to admit was not real? Voter fraud. They had pictures in their minds of people loading up vans of voters and taking them precinct by precinct by precinct and voting into the millions. I mean, I've got, I don't even know how to express that. It's, it's, it's almost unimaginable to me that people would believe that racism is real. People who have a vested interest in not believing it's real, but they can't believe, despite all of the evidence, that voter fraud doesn't exist in a significant fashion to swing an election. They swear that it happens by the millions, enough to swing in an actual election. So... Uh, Trump's lawyers wrote that this was in response to uh, petitions by Jill Stein. Mm, OK, um, they said, quote, all available evidence suggests that the 2016 general election was not tainted by fraud or mistake. Um, but they still want to pursue this. Uh, in Ohio, uh, the Secretary of State, John Husted, um, a Republican, said that um, on, in an interview on yesterday that there was no evidence uh, that voter fraud was happening on a large scale. Um, Democrats obviously know that voter fraud is not happening uh, on a large scale. There's no, quote, uh, basis for the claim, according to Eduardo uh, Cortez of Virginia. Um, Alex uh, Padilla, California state top election official, said free and fair elections are the benchmark of our democracy. And he's taken a jackhammer to it with his irresponsible tweets. Yes, but... When this is stuck in the heads of his constituency, of his va base, all he has to do is say that he's going after it and, and actually go after it. And even if they don't find anything, he's not going to be satisfied. He's still going to stand on his bully pulpit. Here's the irony, the glaring irony that everybody's wondering. He's looking for voter fraud in an election that he won. So that should tell you he's not going to be looking for voter fraud in the state's that he won. He's looking for voter fraud in states that he lost as a means of explaining why he lost those states. He's going after voter fraud because it enhances the Republican position when it comes to elections. Voter suppression, which is very real, is a fundamental tool of the Republican Party. 
there was a there was a the GOP Congress uh, the GOP chairman of the uh, the Pennsylvania State Party who admitted on video and I'll try to find it but he admitted that their voter suppression laws or their 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 voter ID laws were going to help them win elections. This is this is one hundred percent their move to win more elections, guised as protecting our democracy. <sighs> So anyway, Sean Spicer, who, uh, you know, anyway, I'm getting enough tired of this dude. Uh, he said, quote, the president does believe that uh, the voter fraud exists. It's a belief that he's maintained for a while, a concern that he has about um, um, the concern. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> a concern that he has about voter fraud um, because they had moved and were citizens. And when they were, he, he, these are examples. He said, because people moved and they were able to vote in multiple places or they were not citizens or they had since died. And then he quoted some study that said, um, that confirmed is it, but listen, I think the, in the actual investigation, let me give you this number. I think it was one out of a billion ballots since 2000, between 2000 to 2014. It was like maybe a handful of examples out of a billion. I mean, less than 10 out of a billion examples of voter fraud. But this is the ghost that we have to um, this is the ghost that we have to actually run after. And the reason we have to run after it is because um, because Donald Trump, Donald Trump believes and his audience needs to believe it. Um, and this is actually the uh, I'm going to play the audio and the video of um of uh what's his name terzai this is terzai from um from pennsylvania this is him admitting in 2012 that the voter id law will allow mitt romney to win listen in voter id which is going to allow governor romney to win the state of pennsylvania done <laughs> voter id which is going to allow governor romney to win the state of pennsylvania done <laughs> 